Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Dope, Dank, and Dime podcast. We are your hosts, jessepeak.com. I got my guy, Chef Todd, in the building. And today, we're going to jump right into it. Our strain, you know I like books, okay? Reading is fundamental. Reading is fundamental, a tale of two cities. Go ahead and get yourself a book. Chef Todd, you want to open up this book and, and, and let these folks know what we got going on here? Page two. Page two. We got... Tyson Ranch. Tyson Ranch. That's Mike Tyson strain. Okay. Mike Tyson strain. Sour diesel. Let me give you a little information on this. This is a mind strain. This is a sativa made for your mind, boost creativity, energize, and engage with this strain's cerebral effect. So I'm going to crack this bad boy open. Okay. What you, what you get there? Let me see. Do you, do you like the smell? And while we're taking in these aromas, these terpenes, uh, we do giveaways on this podcast. So you guys look in the description of this episode and you're going to see what we're giving away. And we'll tell you how to get in on that giveaway here shortly. Now, let's get into this strain and the terpene profile breakdown because that's what we do on the Dope Dang and Dime podcast. Now, this strain is a sativa and it's a cross between Kim 91 and Super Skunk. This is straight from Tyson Ranch. Uh, Their site gave me this information Sour D is intended for daytime use with euphoric, energetic, and creative effects. This is said to be Mike Tyson's favorite strain. Okay. Now, he's got a huge ranch out in Vegas. I think we, got, we need to put it out in the atmosphere because me and you talk about manifestation and, yep. and, and all the shit. up on you, Mike Tyson. Mike, we not even going to call. We just going to show up to the ranch one day. Take over your kitchen and everything. Yeah, we going to do all that. We going to do all that. Okay. Um. Kim 91. So it's a cross between Kim 91 and Super Skunk. The terpene profile breakdown for Kim 91. And let me give you a little backstory. I reached out to Tyson Ranch and tried to get the exact terpene profile breakdown. But sometimes, you know, they don't want to give you that information or of course. they might get the email two weeks from now. No big right. deal. So what I did was do some research on the actual um, two strains that they combine to get this. So Kim 91, the dominant terpene is limonene, which is, you know, one of my favorite terpenes. And you can smell that in there though. You can smell that on yeah. there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, limonene and limonene is fruity, woodsy, piney. Uh, it's good for elevating your mood, good for medium energy and stress relief. We were just talking. Let's do a little toast here. Okay. We were just talking and the answer came right here. So, McQueen, Violet, Fog, this is a gin. The element that has to be in gin is juniper berries. Mm, you have okay. to have juniper berries in it or and it's I not gin. Yeah, see, and I found this out this weekend on the way back from Jack's. And so limonene's found in juniper berries, uh, fruit rinds, and it's a nice, and it's also found in cleaning products. You know, we see smell that citrus, right, that citrus. in there. Um, so that's the one terpene, uh, karyophylline, which is peppery. Um, a 2014 study showed that karyophylline has pain-relieving properties, and in rodents, karyophylline's potential to reduce alcohol intake actually increases. So it makes this terpene a possible treatment for addiction, alcohol addiction. Mm. And that's weird, you know. We, we read about and we hear about, you know, marijuana is still illegal on a federal level. It's, I think it's like a schedule something on the, the federal thing. Right. But you can drink alcohol. You can smoke cigarettes, which kill people in drastic numbers, and cannabis, which is a plant that has so many medicinal benefits, is still illegal. Still Folks illegal. still going to jail over it. Um, research, research has found that even karyophylline may be able to treat anxiety and depression. So I'm going to roll Danny a nice joint because she said, you know, y'all missed this conversation we had earlier. Some anxiety came from the conversation. You going, Danny, you going to smoke some... Um, to help with the anxiety? Okay. She, ain't, gonna she ain't talking to us right she now. She ain't talking to us right now. All right, cool. Um, and then myrcene. Uh, myrcene is herbal. That's the aroma or taste factor you're going to get with that. Now, the question is always asked, what is the terpene that smells like skunk or why does weed smell like skunk? And it comes from this terpene component, myrcene. myrcene. Uh, the benefits of myrcene are pain reduction and it's also anti-inflammatory. So that's for the Kim 91, one half of the strain. The super skunk, the dominant terpene in super skunk is actually myrcene, which we just talked about, karyophylline and pinene. You know, when you go out in the woods and you smell that piney, that's pinene. Pinene actually acts as a bronchodilator. So if someone has, you know, some lung function problems, they can, now you can't, 
you don't want to smoke it. But if you find a like a tincture that you can drop under your tongue that's high in uh, pinene, that could also help with your, your lung functions. And I'm not a doctor, but, you know, it's just common sense. You can do that. Now, I'm really looking forward to rolling this up. What you've been going on? What you what you what have you had going on this week? Anything exciting? Hmm. Got some stuff coming up, um, some dinner party plans that I'm putting together. Hold sure. on. So, <laughs> okay, tell me about that. You got, I mean, you want to share it or? We're going to keep it on the wraps for right now. Okay. I told you when, I was, when we were driving up here, I told you about the idea I had. Because I was in Jacksonville at a wedding and I was high as f- at the wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Y'all, this is conversation is for you guys. Arsenio, Dez, Laquan. Sam, we actually gonna need you for this one. Um, CEO Sachel. So I'm high at a wedding and I love, you know, smoking because it takes me just to a, a dope creative space. And what's funny is I was on this strain, some sour diesel. Mm. Cause I got a couple of these. I was on it and I just wanted to test it out before we came here. Right. I had this idea. I'm sitting at the wedding, right? And it's an outdoor wedding, and I'm looking at things differently because you know, your brother, right. <laughs> he, he wild with the photography. Like super, super sound talented with the photography. A one, um, yeah, not the two, not the two. A one. I'm watching the photographer at the wedding, and it's a team of two or three people, and they're just here taking little pictures. Right, we're outside. Right, I'm waiting to see the drone because that's where my brain goes. I'm waiting to see the drone. Right. I'm waiting to see Dez swinging from a mother. Ooh, I can't cuss. My mom said no cussing. I'm waiting for Dez to be swinging from a tree with his camera capturing angles. I'm waiting to see Arsenio pop out from under her dress, getting some more angles. I'm waiting to see Laquan (laughs) in a helicopter. I'm waiting to see all these things, and I don't see it. You don't see it. So I got this crazy idea. I don't know if y'all ready for this. Okay. Wedding Crashers Incorporated. We're going to start another business. We got Dope Dank and Dime. We got Wedding Crashers Incorporated. High-end... Wedding video production, photo production, and catering, we're going to do like $75,000 weddings. And <laughs> like, because really when people get married, like, you know, me and you talk about the experience, mm-hmm. your wedding is a super experience and people should be able to relive that experience in an amazing way. Like go home. I watch Bad Boys 2 once a month. Like, I love watching that. People should be able to turn on their wedding day and have that experience. And I think the only team that is capable of putting together that experience is the team we got here. Y'all down for shit like that? Y'all down? Okay. So, listen, check this out. If you're watching this episode and you're about to get married, get in touch. I'm going to put my email right there, put Chef Todd's email. Get in touch. Now, (laughs) it's going to run you, but we are going to create an amazing curated wedding experience that you and your loved ones can just watch over and over and over again. And I mean, it's, it's going to be next level. So anyways, that was my experience this weekend. Now you've got some, so yeah, we, we, we went ahead to pair with this. We got a spice rice and a marinated lamb chop as the uh, entree spice rice, marinated spice lamb rice, chop, marinated lamb chop. Now we got these terpenes. We've mm-hmm. got karyophyllene, myrcene, Lemonine, how are you going to, what, uh, where are you going to use lemonine? How are you so going to add that into the uh, lemonine is used in the main entree and the dessert, main right? entree and the dessert. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now I incorporated all three of the, the terpene profiles in the initial, uh, entree. Okay. So how are you doing that? So we got the caroline, karyophyllene, which is our peppery, right? How are you going to incorporate that so in our there? Peppery, I use some black pepper, a couple different spices, some gram masala, some uh, harista seasoning and, and those kind of things is going to bring out that pepper in this. Okay. And then I also use a lot of different herbs, sage. Now that's our mirror scene. Yeah, and that's It's going to be scene. the herbal element. Right. Um, so sage. Sage and uh, thyme. Is thyme. Right. Okay. And then, um, hold on one second. Let me see what else we got here. Okay. And then what are we doing for dessert? So for dessert. I saw, hold I on, hold on. Let me set the stage. <laughs> okay. Let me set the stage. We walk in, we getting everything set up. Y'all ever seen scall- y'all ever seen scalloped potatoes? You know how that looks. Like, you know, the potatoes are chopped up. I see a container of sliced peaches like scalloped potatoes. What are you what are you in there doing? So I was trying to figure out, you know, just some new way of plating something, playing okay. around with it. So I was like, okay, 
I want to do kind of like a, a a peach, uh, Georgia peach type dessert. Mm -hmm. But you know me, I got to put my own spin on it. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I was like, why not? You know, we did uh, what it was the um, the savory bread put in the last time. So right. I said, you know, let's do a sweet. And, and just so y'all know what he talking dish. about, the savory bread pudding. We were having a conversation. He's like, man, I want to do a. I got this concept for a main entree that looks like a dessert mm -hmm. and that's what he did with the bread pudding so now we're gonna we're gonna flip it up so anyways i'm about to crack this open well it's already open i'm gonna get to rolling how many y'all are partaking arsenio definitely gonna get high sashel gonna get high anybody else sam you smoking oh terp <laughs> terpene trap queen she about to get high. We're going to check this out, give you guys our thoughts on this, and then we're going to partake in this amazing meal, and you guys will see that shortly. Um, hmm. Let's do this. I'll get back to y'all. about that. to do? Oh, I, I'm, I'm about that? to do something. I'm going to talk to you about it. I'm going to do something. Okay. We're going to get in the kitchen. I'm going to light this up, and we'll catch up with y'all in a second. Let's, Let's get rolling. It. Be a thing. 
You don't need this, do you? Today? What? Yes, I'm in college, bro. You got some other shit. I just need. I think you got to get into your stuff. Oh, also, do you rent out stuff? Like, you need a. Did you park already? What you need? No problem. You did? Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on. Sashel's gonna come grab you. Um, turn this around so I can see, um, turn this around so I can see my, well, I want this shot set to where there's no, um, you can't see his microphone at all. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. And then, excuse me. Is this where we were set up last week for Chef Todd? Huh? Is this where we, Arsena, is this where we were set up last week for Chef Todd? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, cool. Test of the uh, the Mike Tyson's Ranch sour diesel. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. So where did this idea come from again? For what? The podcast. Oh yeah, I didn't tell y'all. Because I usually say that when we're talking. But anyway. Um, I'm on Twitter. This is back in December. Martin F. Pierre had a tweet that was just doing numbers. And the thread was on uh, her starting a, an app called Canolution. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to see and help more black and brown people get into the cannabis space. And she's listing all the things that black and brown people can do, that anybody can do in cannabis. Um, you know, when people think about cannabis, they think of growing weed and selling weed. They don't think of the other, uh, you know, you call them verticals or horizontals that are in the cannabis space. And she just starts listing off topics. Uh, one of those was somebody should start reviewing cannabis strains. And I'm like, oh. <coughs> Don't let it whip you. <laughs> um, somebody should start reviewing cannabis strains. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm 39. I've never smoked before. Okay, let's start. And I know that if you get high, you get hungry. So I said, you know what? I'm going to start smoking weed and <laughs> giving cannabis reviews in restaurants. <laughs> and I start reaching out to some restaurants. Well, first thing I did... I didn't know how I was going to put this together, but I was like, eh, I got to team up with a chef. And the first person I hit on, on Instagram was, was Chef Todd. I'm like, yo, I got this idea. And I want to do a podcast. And he was like, man, that sounds dope. gentlemen it's been real and chef todd done did it again go ahead and subscribe like what else is your do comment say hello tell me what your favorite weed strain, weed strain is because ah what weed strain would you like us to review on the next episode that's what i want to know put that in the comment section we'll make it happen Bye, Juan.